be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm going to be going over my top plugins for mixing beats in Logic Pro 10. So make sure you smash the like button, y'all, because this is going to be a banger, I'm telling you, okay? Um, look, let's go ahead and jump right in. I have a beat right here. The first plugin I'm going to go ahead and talk about is EQ, okay? Now, if you're actually working with, um, you know, Logic Pro 10 and you don't have any um, third party plugins or wave bundle plugins or different things like that. This uh, this stock EQ right here from Logic is pretty dope. I, I actually like it. You know, what I mean, it's, it's it's easy to use. You can cut out like low frequencies. Easy. Just do this. Come over here like that. I mean, you can come over here and do the, the high frequencies the same way. Turn it up. Come over here. So it's an easy um you know eq to use and you can kind of you can see the actual um foul and where it's coming in and the wave and everything like that so this is a pretty dope plugin and i like to use now that's just for somebody who is just getting started you don't necessarily have um any third-party plugins now this is another third-party plugin that i would love to use as well though and this is called req okay it's by waves i guess the r stands for renaissance i believe and um i you know it comes in a whole lot of different uh, options so like if i come over here to my plugins go to wave scroll down till i see r so you can have like two points where you can uh, you know um, affect the audio four points six points and it kind of makes it e real easy to you know get in there cut out some of the low frequencies or cut out some of the high frequencies or do a little fine tuning on there so that's those are my top two right here as far as eq okay we got this regular eq and then we got this req from waves okay so let's also talk about compression um, i didn't do a whole lot of compression on this particular beat but i'll go over one of my favorite compressors let's say if you have a kick drum um or in, in let's okay let me take it back because um i don't want to just only narrow this down to putting compression on just kick sometimes you can put compression on actually uh your your uh melody and stuff too so but let's just start with the kick here one of the plugins that i really love to use is smack attack and actually it's a uh, it really deals with the transients and um what a transient is if you zoom into a wave file um you know you can kind of see the little different peaks and dips or whatever this is basically a compressor that helps um with making those peaks and dips those transients compressed okay if you will um let me go ahead and just play a little bit of this beat actually i'm just gonna play just the kicks so I'm going to put this uh, loop right here. Go ahead and solo this out. Now, if I turn up the attack on this, you know what I'm saying? You can make it sound a whole lot uh, thicker and better, punchier. Uh, they also have this clip feature right here, which is pretty dope. Um, kind of will keep the track from clipping here. So that's a real good plug and I really love to use that. I lose, use that a whole lot on all my drums, um, if needed, you know what I mean? If needed, okay? Um, as far as a compressor that I like to use, say if like one of my samples or a sound is coming in kind of low, um, I, let's say with this guy right here. Okay, like if it's coming in real low, a third party plugin that I use for compression is this MV2. And I like this one because it just has two options here, one for low, uh, for your low frequencies and one for your high frequencies. And then it has an output and it makes it super simple to come in here and compress different parts of the beat. So, or that of your, of your sample um, or melody. So I'm gonna pull this up. And then we put this high down some. Does a real good job of bringing the levels up and everything like that. As far as a stock, um, compressor you can always go with this the basic compressor right here and I love to come around and mess with some of these this uh, let me see here 
I usually like using this uh, vintage and this studio and platinum. So but between these three, those are the ones I like to use. And most of the time it's gonna be that platinum um, compressor. And you can put this on your drums or on your, um, you know, on your melody tracks as well. So let's just play that. So this is it's a solid compressor. You just kind of basically understand some of the basics of the ratio threshold and stuff like that. But once you understand those basics, you know that's a real good compressor to use if you don't have a third party uh, place, um, not placement, third party plugin. So uh, next, what I want to talk about is reverb. Okay, reverb, reverb, reverb. One of my favorite reverb plugins is going to be Valhalla Room. Okay, this is what it looks like right here. It's pretty solid. Um, it, you could control a lot with this. Um, if you want the sound to sound far away, you can put like an, into, you know, expand and keep going. Uh, you put this decay up, you can do a high cut, you can do depth. Let's check this out. My bad, put it on this, this. Then it has a bunch of different presets too, and different you know options to choose from, different types of reverbs within this. And you can all you know come over here and mess around with the knobs. Pretty solid reverb. Honestly, I pretty much use this exclusively when it comes to reverb. But you know you can come over here and grab some of the reverbs that are actually um, right here in the stock, uh, some of the stock reverbs or whatever. I don't use them to be honest. I don't even mess with these. But if I did, a lot of the times I would would use this back in you know earlier would be like this space designer. You can come over here, and then you can come over here, and then there's different options you can choose from. So this is a pretty good reverb as far as stock. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is a plugin for for making like your baser bassy sounds more you know uh, fuller and you know making the low end rumble a little better um, it's going to be a plugin called R bass it's one of my favorite plugins for um, you know like 808s bass sounds or whatever this is the uh, 808 right here as it stands pretty decent but um, it's coming in a little low and I would like it to you know sound a whole lot more um, full or whatever so if we go over here is a waves bundle plugin okay and let me find our base right there now let's listen to the 808 and you can come over here and fine tune and really find the frequency that needs that boost the most and you can also turn down the intensity or turn it up based on the sound so it's a pretty dope plugin i use this a lot um as far as bassy and other things like that, like as far as stock, I really don't have a plugin for increasing the bass outside of, you know, maybe using the EQ a little bit and playing around with, you know, combining that with a compressor. Um, I will talk about a couple of other goodie plugins, I'll call them. OK, goodie plugins would be number one is stock plugin that I use almost a lot. I mean, not, I'm not going to say almost every time, but uh, I use a, quite a bit on all of my beats. Remix. OK. Um, it's a real cool plugin. You can come over here and do a lot of cool things. Let me actually take it off the 808 and put it on. Um, let me put it on this uh, this sample right here. Let me see how this sounds. Let me see. All right, bet. So let's put that remix effect on here. And pretty much this is kind of like your personal DJ rig right here. You can come, and come over here and do some DJ effects. So let's just play around with it. Yeah, so I really like this plugin. Like I said, it's something I use a lot in my production. So let's also go ahead and talk about some other things that I like as far as third party plugins. If I come over here, 
um, to Cable Guys Halftime. I'm pretty sure y'all know about that. If y'all knew, you don't know about it. This is a pretty dope plugin that will slow down your music, make it sound like pretty dope. Let's listen to it. <laughs> You can come over here and mess around with this mix right here. Or mess around with different frequencies. Yeah, so, and you can also mess around with the different um, options up here that relate to time and everything. One over 16, one over eight. I mean, you know, you have different options. But anyway, y'all, appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Make sure you also go ahead and smash that like button. And if you don't do anything else, make sure you also visit our site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses and kits that you can purchase there that have a whole lot of wealth of information on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10 and more.